Kendrick Lamar just detonated the Rap Games version of the Berlin Wall. What pushed Kendrick to drop his intense six-minute diss track, Euphoria, and how did Drake fire back? Stick around as we break down the latest twists and turns in their explosive rivalry. Kendrick Lamar and Drake have been clashing intensely for what feels like forever. Their rivalry, which has been simmering for years, has recently erupted into a full-blown feud, with both artists taking shots at each other in their music. They used to be on good terms and even collaborated, but those days are long gone. The latest round of beef started when Drake and J. Cole released their song First Person Shooter, where J. Cole called himself Drake and Kendrick the big three of rap. Kendrick fired back in March with his verse on Metro Boomin and Future's song Like That, dismissing the idea of the big three and asserting, it's just big me. Last month, J. Cole took another jab at Kendrick in a song but later told fans on stage that the feud didn't sit right with him and he backed off. Not long after, Drake dropped a track called Push Ups, where he mocked Kendrick's height and his collaborations with Taylor Swift and Maroon 5. He also seemed to diss other artists like Rick Ross and The Weeknd. Rick Ross then retaliated against Drake in a diss track, accusing him of having multiple cosmetic surgeries, including a nose job and Abe's surgery. Drake escalated things further with another diss track called Taylor Made Freestyle, which used AI-generated voices of Snoop Dogg and Tupac to send a message to Kendrick. However, he had to take the song down after Tupac's estate threatened legal action over the unauthorized use of his voice. Fans have been eagerly waiting for Kendrick's response, and he delivered with a six-minute diss track called Euphoria. In the song, Kendrick goes after Drake in multiple ways, particularly targeting his role as a father and listing all the things he dislikes about him. The title Euphoria is a clever nod to the TV show produced by Drake, ensuring that when people search Drake Euphoria, Kendrick's track comes up. The next day, Drake seemed to fire back by posting a scene from the movie 10 Things I Hate About You on Instagram. The scene features Kat listing all the reasons she hates Patrick, mirroring Kendrick's approach in his diss track. Kendrick then responded to Drake with another diss track called 616 in LA, released on May 3rd. Fans speculated about the meaning behind the art and title of the track. When Kendrick released it, he posted a photo on Instagram that led to various interpretations. Some thought it referenced O.J. Simpson or Michael Jackson because of the glove, but others noticed the glove had the logo of Rick Ross's Maybach Music Group. As for the title 616 in LA, fans connected it to several things. The date of Canadian Father's Day, the release date of Euphoria, Tupac's birthday, and Drake's tendency to use times in his track titles. It seemed like Kendrick was making multiple references with this title. In the song, fans believe Kendrick accused Drake's team of disloyalty, among other criticisms. Notably, the song was co-produced and co-written by Jack Antonoff, known for his work with Taylor Swift. Jack Antonoff, known for his work with Taylor Swift, is also in a band and collaborates with various artists, Many believe Kendrick chose Antonoff to produce the song as a deliberate move because Drake has previously mentioned Swift in his dices. In push-ups, Drake rapped, Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty, then we need a verse for the Swifties. In Taylor Made Freestyle, he suggested that Kendrick would delay his response due to Swift's album release, saying, but now we gotta wait a week cause Taylor Swift is your new top and if you about to drop, she got to approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud. She tailor-made your schedule without you out of the loop. Despite the disses, Drake also acknowledged Swift's success, saying, Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift, biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know she about to Millie run through, a Millie rock on your head. After Kendrick released 616 in LA, Drake responded the same day with a diss track titled, Family Matters. In it, he criticizes Kendrick for involving his son in their feud and accuses him of orchestrating a cease and desist order from Tupac's estate to take down one of Drake's songs. Drake also alleges that Kendrick has hurt his own fiance. 
Kendrick and his fiance, who are high school sweethearts and share two children, are typically very private. Drake's diss track suggests their relationship is far from perfect, saying, they hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen. The picture you painted, it ain't what it seems, and also your baby mama captions always screaming, save me. He further implies that Kendrick might be unfaithful, rapping, why did you move to New York? Is it cause you living the bachelor life? Proposed in 2015, but don't want to make her your actual wife. I'm guessing this wedding ain't happening, right? Cause we know the girls that you actually like. Almost immediately, Kendrick dropped his response titled, Meet the Grams. In this track, Kendrick accuses Drake of being a bad father and suggests he is hiding another child, just as he had done with his son, which was revealed in 2018. Kendrick raps, don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again, implying Drake is hiding a daughter. He addresses this supposed daughter directly saying, dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father's not active inside your world. He don't commit to much but his music, yeah, that's for sure. He's a narcissist misogynist living inside his songs, try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. Kendrick also criticizes Drake's parenting, adding, should be teaching you times tables or watching Frozen with you or at your 11th birthday singing poems with you. Drake responded to Kendrick's claim about a hidden daughter by posting on his Instagram story saying, no, hold on. Can someone find my hidden daughter, please, and send her to me? These guys are in shambles. This sparked widespread speculation about whether someone from Drake's team had fed false information to Kendrick to discredit him. If this claim about the hidden daughter is proven false, it could undermine the credibility of other accusations Kendrick has made in his songs. People are questioning if this was a strategic move by Drake or if there's any truth to it. Fans are eagerly seeking clarity on this matter, but Drake has firmly denied the existence of a secret daughter. Kendrick's song contained numerous other serious allegations, touching on crimes and mistreatment of women, which Drake has not addressed. The fact that Drake only refuted the claim about the daughter has led to more intrigue and concern among fans, as the other accusations are also very serious. Later in the song, Kendrick also accuses Drake of undergoing cosmetic procedures like OIC and other work, repeating allegations heard before. He says, even if you don't benefit your goals, do some push-ups, get some discipline, don't cut them corners like your daddy did, F what OIC did, don't pay to play with them Brazilians, get a gym membership. Kendrick then declares he's done with the back and forth between them and will address Drake's family directly, telling Drake's parents that they raised a terrible person and suggesting he shouldn't be alive. He makes shocking statements like, him and Whist should get up in a cell for the rest they life and grew facial hair cause he understand being a beard just fit him better. Kendrick also hints at industry secrets saying, I've been in this industry 12 years. I'm gonna tell y'all one little secret. It's some weird going on and some of these artists be here to police it. He warns women playing Drake's music, implying they're supporting weirdos. He attacks Drake's dad directly by name and harshly criticizes his character. After Drake denied the hidden daughter accusation, he reposted his earlier diss track on his Instagram story. This feud has been intense and fans online have been reacting to the escalating drama. Many are demanding proof for some of the claims made in these tracks. So far, the only concrete evidence presented was an image Kendrick shared with his Meet the Grams video, showing prescriptions with Drake's name on them. People are baffled by how Kendrick obtained this information. This feud seems far from over, and fans are eagerly waiting to see what happens next. What do you guys think about all this? If you've been following along, share your thoughts. I love you all so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.